This will be a tutorial about how to design an effective wall display directive. Once you've chosen the brand that you'd like to design for, it's a good idea to look up images of existing retail stores for that brand and how they merchandise their walls. A good tip is to use the current merchandise by the brand so that your directives are reflective of the time they were created. When downloading images to use for your directive, I find that the brand's websites usually have images that are good quality and show the garment not on a model. Once you've selected the merchandise you'd like to include in your display, it's time to start drawing the general shape. Here I'm using the Photoshop line tool to create a shelf structure. Next, I'm going to clean up the product pictures using the background eraser tool and the polygonal lasso tool. When creating a wall display, make sure to include different colors or skews of the same product as it would appear on an actual retail wall. garments look like they're hanging, I downloaded an image of the brand's hanger and I'm going to place each garment onto one of these hangers. To make each garment look like it's actually on the hanger, I first resize it so that the shoulders are even with the size of the hanger. Then I use the transform grid tool to make it look like it's hanging. Since this hanger is receding, I'm going to make the right side of each garment a little bit smaller than the left side. Then I'm deleting the portion of the jacket that would cover up the hanger so that it looks like the hanger is inside of the jacket. Then I repeated these steps for every garment that was going to hang on the hang bar and I included several layers of each garment so that it looked like there were multiple items. To give the shelf a more realistic look, I used a stock photo of a wood texture to create the shelves. I also used the image of a bar to hang the garments on. I find that the more textures and realistic images you can use for your display, the less it looks like a computer-generated drawing. When creating displays, make sure that each layer is in the proper order so that anything that would be the bottom layer is underneath the top layers. To give your display the perspective that it would actually be inside a store, it's good to include floor and wall textures. So here I've already added a floor at an angle showing that this display would be near a corner and now I'm adding a plaid wallpaper. You can also use the selection tool and the blending options for each layer to create areas of highlight or shadow. Here I'm using the transform grid tool to make the logo look like it's receding on the angled wall. Finally, it's a good idea to play around with colors and textures of the display you've already created to see what combination looks best with your display. Here's an image of the final Burberry wall display that I created. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching.